Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm talking about how you can eat more food in order to lose weight rather than eating less food. So we have all been in a position where we tried losing weight and most of the plan consisted of either counting calories, uh, restricting all your breads and giving up all your pastas and having the mindset of having to eat less. I know I've been there before where I always have to prep myself to be eating less and being hungry. And typically what ha ends up happening is that you're eating no food at all, you're constantly starving and you're craving foods and it's typically not sustainable when you're in that position. Eventually you'll feel as if you hit a wall and no matter how little you eat, you still can't seem to make progress and you continue to yo-yo diet where you know, you're know you losing weight um, sh more short term um, or you gain up, gain all the weight back once you're done dieting. And I get it because I've been there constantly with the yo-yo diet and I tried every single diet plan you can imagine. And I hated that I had to be starving whenever I was on a diet um, because I, whenever I had the goal of getting more fit or losing more body fat, it was always a miserable experience. It was not fun. So I am here to tell you that you can actually lose weight while eating more food, not less food. Because the trick is making sure that you're always full throughout the day. It sounds quite opposite, but I want you to hear me out for a little bit because all of my clients who lose weight, believe it or not, they're never hungry. Um, in fact, I always train my clients on how to really eat more food during the program rather than eating less food. And it, it, there is some training involved learning how to eat more food because we're conditioned to always eat less. The problem is that we live in a society that thinking eating more volumes of food is going to cause us to gain weight. But we're also missing a lot of context that goes along with that. So, of course, if we're just sitting around eating pizzas and donuts and cookies all day obviously we're gonna gain weight. So there's no questions about that. Um, however, you know, the types of volume of food, the types of volume of food that we're consuming, that has a lot to do with it. So if you choose the right foods, you can actually eat more um, than what you're normally used to eating. So for example, if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, they have a huge amount per serving for very few calories or energy. So we can have a lot more of these than we think. So when we focus on high volume foods, we could eat more. So I wanna give you an example. So let's say chocolate, everyone loves chocolate. You have a chocolate bar that's like this big. And that's typically the equivalent to two to three apples or two bananas. So you can have either a really small candy bar that will leave you feeling very full you know, after you eat it, or you can have two apples, even three apples or two bananas. And it actually, you know, the bananas and the, the apples, they provide you with way more nutrients that benefit your health. And you may be thinking to yourself, wow, three apples is a lot to eat in one sitting. And you're correct, because I'm sure if you think about eating three apples, you may think you will be full after one or even two, let alone three. And that's the whole point because the satiety of an apple or a banana is much different than a chocolate bar. So not only can you easily eat another chocolate bar without any complaint, I know I could just eat chocolate, chocolate, chocolate with no problem because it's not super filling, but you can have two times that of apples for half the calories and a higher benefit. So if you don't like apples, then you can have two bananas instead of one little chocolate bar. So you have a piece of food that is either this big versed versus something that's this small. Um, the reason why we wanna go for foods with larger volume is because we want to make sure we're consuming foods that are big enough to actually hit the gut senses um, on the wall of our stomach, which actually tells us that we're full, which is 
very important. So if we're focusing on eating quality foods, then we will be able to hit a quality of vitamins, uh, we'll hit our mineral goal, we'll be getting the, enough nutrients. So now we're actually meeting all of our nutrition requirements to keep us satisfied. So when we're satisfied, we'll not be craving more food. So another thing that we want to do to make sure we're eating more food especially making sure that it's keeping us full, is making sure we're eating enough quality lean proteins and carbohydrates. So lean proteins and carbohydrates, these foods will actually spike our insulin levels and they'll send a signal to our, to our brain telling us that we're completely full. So how can we slowly start incorporating more food in our day to give us you know, more results with our weight loss? So my three tips that I tell all my clients when starting out, things that cause that require little to no effort is eating three to four cups of veggies per day with two palm size servings of protein per day with 100 ounces of water per day. So when starting your day with those three simple habits and when those are your targets, you can now pretty much know you're going to be able to eat anything else that day of course, in moderation, because you're going to be more full throughout the day because those three habits are super important for helping you feel more satisfied throughout your day rather than just snacking on things. So when you think about losing weight and transforming your body or developing healthier choices without a ton of work being put into it, first think about how you can eat more food from the right choices that will really lead you to feeling more positive about your weight loss decisions. You're gonna be feeling full. You don't have to feel miserable along the way. Now you're going to be actually satisfied. You're gonna be eating more food rather than restricting yourself. And that's really the key of really seeing sustainable weight loss because you're eating a significant amount of food rather than starving yourself. So I want to invite you to my seven day challenge. The link is below. The seven day challenge is filled with tons of awesome content. And although it may be looked at as too simple, it will lead to great results. People love it. I have helped hundreds of women through these challenges because of how simple it is and how easy it is for you to implement in your day to day. Anyone, and I mean anyone, no matter what level you are, beginner, intermediate, advanced, anyone can benefit from this challenge. It is quite different from the typical health and fitness challenges that you see online. And the best part about it, because we live in a busy world and we're super crazy um, with our schedules, you only need five minutes per day to complete this challenge successfully for seven days. So I also have tons of bonuses in my seven day challenge guide. You'll have access to workouts. You'll have access to recipes. Um, these workouts and recipes are not required to complete the challenge, but they are a bonus if you are looking to add in more exercises and you're looking to get more creative with home cooking. Um, so you may be wondering, you know, why am I doing this for free? Why am I giving you all this content for free? And the reason why I'm doing that is because my passion is really to help as many people as possible understand that changing your health and your fitness and reaching your goals doesn't have to be as hard as it seems. Um, as long as you're willing to put in the effort, you will be able to achieve anything you want. And because I know most of my clients and most of the people that come to me that are looking to lose weight, a lot of them suffer with gut health imbalances. They suffer with a lot of bloating after eating. They also suffer with irregular bowels where you know they're either constipated or going too much and they have a lot of digestive issues. So I actually also included my ebook, uh, in my seven day challenge, it reviews the signs of how you can determine if your gut is imbalanced and what you can do and the steps to take to get it better. So I'm also throwing that in the challenge for free. And lastly, another question that I get asked often is about supplements. And I'm always beyond frustrated when people think supplements will cure all um, because a lot of these brands will force products down your throat when in fact that isn't even what you need. So I actually put together a guide reviewing why you should and why you shouldn't be taking certain supplements. Um, and whatever type of supplements that you're going to be taking is going to be different from the next person. Supplements are here for you to fill in the gaps of your nutrition, but they're not the end all be all. 
So first, it's important to know what the supplement's purpose is and why you should take it. And that will help you understand whether or not it's going to benefit you. So this supplement guide is probably the biggest thing that my challengers have loved in the past because it really educated them on what they could add into their diet to really help them move forward um, rather than just taking things hoping that they're working. Um, and it also helped them understand, you know, what supplements, you know, may not necessarily be needed for their goals because you always read so many different things about what you should be taking without actually knowing why or how you should. Um, incorporate it into your day-to-day. -day. So because my mission this year is to help as many people as possible, I wanted to share as much valuable content as possible. So please go ahead, join the seven day challenge below. If you feel you're trying to get on the path of losing weight, you want to start make healthier, um, you want to start making healthier choices and incorporating healthier habits into your day to day. You're looking to reduce bloat and even reignite your metabolism because you feel like it slowed down a little bit. Um, if this doesn't sound like you, that's okay. Um, but if you do know anyone that could benefit from the seven day challenge, then go ahead and share this with them. Uh, tomorrow I have a super cool topic um, I want to share with you. It's a very popular topic and it's how to stop sweet cravings with nutrition alone. So join me tomorrow. I'm super excited. If you have any questions, always comment below and let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.